This way. Welcome, brave traveler. Though you have walked far and the journey has been hard, you have now arrived in paradise. That'll be 200 shards admission, please. It's a wonder they recruit anyone for that price. You wait till you see the entertainment district, then say that. Only watch your heart if you do, Granddad. I'll give you entertainment when I shove a sword through your neck. I'm not paying you anything. You walked across the desert to the doors of paradise and you don't want in? Okay, no problem. I'll do you a deal. Keep this quiet, okay? What say I let you win for free this time round, and then you pay me double next time? All right, I'll pay. And so the traveler opened his way to the dreams and promises of paradise. Welcome to the fort. Can you buy Elix here? Elix? Only if you want fuel for your next trip. The Doc's the best chemsmith here. He mixes Elix into all sorts of things. You can jack it and not worry about turning into an alb. That Doc, he knows what Elix should really be used for. Freeing your mind. And that Alp Converter is gonna help us all find freedom. Woohoo! You take Elix? You sound like an Alp. What? Screw that! I told you Chem set you free. They don't turn you into one of those robots. No, no, fuck that, and fuck the Alps. I'd be happy if they all died tomorrow, but no, you're not getting it, you see? Those Alps stuff their converter with everything that contains Elix, right? So they're doing the work for us. They set the machine up, we take the Elix. We liberate our minds. That's gotta be what the Duke is thinking. Why else would he let them stay there? He'll wait until that Elix is ready. Then we'll use our explosives to blast their asses back to Zekor. And the people that end up in the converter don't bother you? Screw them! Assholes were dumb enough to get caught. Dumbasses. Tell me about this place. Like what? What do you want to know? What do you think I should know? Right. Uh... Okay, so, uh, where do I begin? Do you know about Baxter? Bloody Baxter? He used to be in charge here. Baxter turned the fort into what it is today. Before that, they were just a bunch of ruins, full of scrap. A place to piss in out of the desert sun. But with a vision, a dream, and just a touch of sadistic, overly brutal ass-kicking, Baxter turned a piss pot into a gold mine. So, what happened to Baxter? The Duke happened. The Duke and his family. The Duke had the muscle, the connections, the firepower. And that sister of his? Nasty. She had the brains. Found the weak spots in the defenses and brought the Duke's men right in here. So Baxter got out. Buck knows where he is now. Probably dead under a rock. But... Things aren't too bad under the Duke's leadership, I suppose. Life can be good if you don't cross him or his people. Tell me about his people. Well, there's his twin sister, Nasty. She can handle herself, but I get the sense she's bored in here. She looks after planning and things, but she's restless. Oh, and 
Don't try talking to her unless you have something real to say. She can't stand small talk, or people who don't get to the point. The point being shards, or fighting. Then there's his cousin William, who plays the big man. And there's his favorites, Chloe, Blake, Big Jim, and Mad Bob. But just don't go calling Bob Mad Bob to his face. When you're talking to him, he's the Scrap Baron. And you know, they all make shards, so we all make shards. And there's talk about plans. Plans to make the fort something big. What with the Albatax and the clerics stealing our stuff, I think we're getting ready to show them we shouldn't be fucked with. So, right, there you are. Does that cover it? <laughs>